This is our native stack column chart. If there is an increase from the previous month, it shows an additional green bar. Or if value decreases, then it will show a red portion on top of it. This will dynamically change based on all you slicer selections. If you want to enable this feature for your column charts, then this video is for you. Let's create it from scratch. All right, I have this small semantic model with sales product and customers table. And based on this, I have created this small column chart to show total sales by month. My total sales measure is pretty straightforward. In order to create the visual what we are looking for, first of all, I need to create a measure to calculate previous month's sales amount. From this new measure option, I will create the required measure. This measure name, I can have as previous month sales. For the expression, I can just write, calculate total sales, and use this DAX function, previous month over the date column. Now I will create a measure which will act like, if total sales for that month is more than previous month, then it will show same as previous month. Otherwise it should calculate the sales amount for that month. Why do I need it? You will know that in a moment. Let me create this measure first. This measure name I can name as total sales underscore. Here, first of all, it will validate. If month is first month, then calculate total sales. Else it will validate. If total sales is greater or equal to previous month, then previous month sales. Otherwise, total sales for that month. Now, I will select the visual, remove this measure for a moment, and add my newly created measure. Here you can see, if sales is more than previous month, it is showing same as previous month because I need to add the difference on top of this bar. For the decrease, actual sales is shown. Now I need two more measures to complete this visual. My first measure is for increase. So I will name it as increase. The expression for this is pretty similar. If it is first month, it will return blank. Else it will check. If total sales amount is more than previous month sales, then total sales minus previous sales. At this moment, if I add this measure to my stacked column chart and move it to the top, I can see that increase in the sales is shown separately. Now, before I create by another measure, I need to format this data label to show the difference in proper way. For this, I will select my measure and change its category to dynamic. Here I get additional option for format string. As usual, I'll add this four quotes for literal and then add a plus sign. I also need to attach my measure in text format. So I will add this expression. I will apply some more formatting for this, but for now, let's create our another measure. For this, I can copy this DAX expression because the next measure is going to be similar with small change. Click on new measure and paste the copied expression. I will change the measure name to decrease. This first condition will be same. Here it will check. If sales is less than previous month's sales, then it will calculate previous month minus current month. For this as well, I will change the format style to dynamic. And then once again, I will add these quotes. And since this is for negative, I can add one indicator icon along with a negative sign. And then add the decrease measure in text format. Let's add this measure to our visual and see how it looks. As that you can see, we have the additional bars for the growth which is added here. We also have the bar for the reduction. Now, you can change the color of these columns. Since I have two different measures for increase and decrease, I don't need dynamic color formatting, and I can just use static colors for this. You can also change the data label colors, and the visual will look like this. One last thing I need to do is to show the total label. I cannot enable the total option because I have these custom measures. So for this, I will add the total sales measure as a column and change its color to transparent. The data label position I can set as inside base and change its color. With that, we have completed this visual. Now this visual is ready for use. You can implement this amazing addition for your stack column chart, which can be very useful for your Power BI projects. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.